So I'm here with a little downtime and I decided to make this video to tell my story about how I met Donald Sutherland or as I say how Donald Sutherland met me on the set of The Leisure Seeker the new Sony Pictures Classics movie that comes out on March the 9th with Donald Sutherland and Helen Mirren. Um, anyhow when I got booked on this job I was so excited because I had a scene with Donald Sutherland okay and uh, you can imagine so um, for a whole month all I thought about was man I'm gonna work with this guy I can't wait you know uh, for that experience and it turns out that the experience wasn't what I thought it was gonna be okay anyway here we go I get to my uh, makeup trailer and uh, they finish making me up my hair whatever and as I'm walking out, Mr. Sutherland is walking in. And I say Mr. Sutherland because that's what everyone calls him on the set. No one dares to call him Donald. Or... <laughs> Anyhow, I'll get to that later. So, he's walking in, I'm walking out, and I see him. He's wearing these big glasses, Cuban hat. And I say, oh, Mr. Sutherland, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Carlos Guerrero. I'm going to be... Uh, working in a scene with you. I play one of the doctors and, and whatnot. And he just looks at me and says, who? What? And he turns around and walks away. And leaves. he disses me right there. Leaves me there with my hand hanging. It's like, really? And I look at the makeup guy and the, and the makeup guy says, maybe he's in character or something. I don't know. I look at the I look at the hair the hairstylist and she says she just looks at me and goes like that like they they both were like feeling sorry for me I think anyhow I kind of felt bad and I said you know what okay I'm out of here so I walk out of the trailer and as I walk out on my way from the makeup trailer to my trailer all I could do was crank myself up and say I can't believe that I've been waiting for this moment for a whole month who the hell does this guy think he is you know. Uh, wait till he gets on the set with me. He's going to see who I am and all this. You know, you know, all the, uh, the Cuban in me came out. Anyhow, so I'm in my trailer, still cranking me up, when I hear a knock on the door. And I open up the door, and it's the makeup guy. And he says to me, uh, I think Mr. Sutherland wants to speak with you. And I go, with me? Why does he want to talk to me? And he says, well... Uh, I think he feels kind of bad that he may have treated you a little bit uh, rude. So I said, well, he treated me very rude. So, yeah, let's go see what he wants. So we go to the trailer, to the makeup trailer, and he's still there. I open the door. He turns around. Hey, man, I'm so sorry, you know, whatever. Uh, um, you know, I just had a lot of things in my head, and, and I was, you know, I was thinking about some personal stuff I had going on and whatever. And so I, I told him, no, I thought maybe that you were in character or something. And he says, no, no, I wish I was in character. But, you know, you came over here, you told me that you were a doctor. And, you know, I, I don't know, I thought maybe a doctor came to see me, whatever, you know. I'm a regular guy, so, you know, I have problems too. And I was just thinking about my things, uh, my personal stuff. And and so I really wasn't with it. But anyway, you know, it's 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 a pleasure to meet you. And I, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to doing our, my scene with you too and whatever. And... He kind of broke the ice there, so I was like, wow, okay, you know, it's a great guy. So um, I leave, and shortly thereafter, we go to the set where we're filming in this conference room. And um, when we first walk in, the uh, AD introduces the other doctor that's going to be working in the scene. He says, oh, Mr. Sutherland, this is such and such, uh, Jeffrey Williams. Um, He's going to be working, uh, one of the actors that's working as a doctor or whatever. So he introduces himself, shakes his hands, very cordial. And uh, then he looks at me and he goes like this and he goes like that. You know, he just nods his head. And I'm like, I, 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 yeah, I couldn't help myself. So I just look at him and I say, oh, Mr. Sutherland, what a pleasure it is to meet you. Oh. And he, he, he looks at me like that and he's staring and he goes, look at this freaking guy trying to make me feel like shit and then he tells the whole story in front of all the crews there was like 40 50 people back there and and they all stopped to listen to his story about how uh what happened between me and him back in the makeup trailer so um 
you know, everybody got a laugh and whatever. And that totally broke the ice. So I sit down and we start shooting our scenes. And this is a guy that I've looked up to even when I was growing up in films in Hollywood. And here I was now sharing not only the same scene with him, but I am actually, after each scene, we would improvise. He would throw some stuff at me and I'd throw some at him. And we had the people in the, in the room laughing uncontrollably because we just wouldn't stop. It would be like bam, 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 bam. So I can say that one of the best experiences in my careers that I've ever had is that I spent a good part of the afternoon improvising with Mr. Donald Sutherland. And um, I never thought that would ever be possible in my career. But it was a dream that uh, I didn't even know I had and, and, and I accomplished. Um, very happy for that. And, and then right after that, I noticed that there was a, a, the guy with the, taking the stills. And so I go up to him and I say, hey, you're the still photographer? He says, yeah. And I go, hey, can you take a picture with me and Donald? And he, he looks at me and he says, no, uh, Mr. Sutherland doesn't like to take pictures. So I go, oh, it's with me. Come on, me and him are like this. <laughs> so um, he says, I can't, I could do it with, with your phone, but not with my phone. I'll ask him. So I, I gave him my phone and he, 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 couldn't, he couldn't do it with his camera because the camera is the still photography for the, for the company, for Sony. Anyway, um, he goes, he starts walking. Mr. Sutherland's already walking away. And so this guy starts, um, Mr. Sutherland, uh, Mr. Sutherland. Mr. Sutherland and so he was already walking out so I scream out hey Donald and that man just turned around like I've never seen anybody turn around so fast he goes like like who the hell dared call him Donald right <laughs> so he looks at me and I just walk right up to him and I say hey I know you want to take a picture with me so before before you leave you know, come on, let's do this. And I turn around and I walk and I turn around. I, that could have gone either way. But this guy just stayed quiet for a little bit and he goes, come on, let's do this. So, you know, um, he hugged both me and the other actor, uh, um, Jeffrey Williams. And and we had our picture moment with Donald Sutherland, who doesn't like to take pictures with, you know, with people. Anyhow, um, after this, I had I have a movie that I that I had um, produced some time back, uh, Promises, uh, that I did with my with my son and eight an eight year experience. It took me eight years to get it out in DVD. But anyway, um, I left him a copy of the movie, and in the in the um, in the cover I put Donald. Thank you for making me feel so comfortable on the set after making me feel like shit in the makeup trailer. And I put a, a, a smiley face with a winky. <laughs> I could assure you that Mr. Sutherland, or Donald as I call him, will never forget me. And that's because I guess, I don't know, maybe I see everybody as we're all equal, right? And, and I understand why people treat him with such respect, and, and, and I also respect him totally, totally, especially his work. He's a fabulous actor, uh, a tremendous actor, who deserves probably an award for this movie that he just did. I saw it last night, and him and Helen Moran are, like, amazing together. What chemistry. And, and, and how they can bring comedic timing to this... Um, to this such a tragic reality that is uh, Alzheimer's and cancer is is beyond to me. But um, anyhow, um, they pulled it off. They did a great job, and and so uh, I feel that I've worked with uh, some famous people in the past, and some people tell me why? How, do, how is it that you do it? You don't get so nervous and whatever. Well, my dad was a famous actor in Cuba, Jorge Raúl Guerrero and a poet. He was more known for his poetry. He put out like about 12 or 12, somewhere between 12 and 15 albums 
or LPs, like they used to call them before. Now they're CDs, but they used to be LPs. And, um, you know, I grew up around famous people like Celia Cruz, Willy Chirino, uh, you name it, in the Spanish world. Um, anyhow, we, uh, for me, we're all the same. And um, I don't really recommend that you do this at home, folks, or on the set. <laughs> but uh, just, you know, uh, with, with lots of respect, uh, treat people like normal people. Because nobody is more special than any other. And uh, there you go. If you thought this was going somewhere else, uh, and I took you back, uh, Mr. Sutherland is a great guy. And uh, I just wanted to share my story. Thank you for listening. And don't forget, March 9th, in theaters everywhere, The Leisure Seeker. And after that, you can see me on, um, I'll be on The Queen of the South. I have a, a very, very, very exciting episode that I, that I did. I can't talk about it. Um, I also have, what else coming up? Uh, oh, Atlanta, the show Atlanta. I play none other than Drake's grandfather. <laughs> Believe it or not, yes. The Drake. Um, and some other exciting stuff that's coming up. Just check out my IMDb. And you'll, you'll know. Or my web or my website at uh, carlosguerreroactor.com.